Now I have a question. Apple announced last year that they were working with car manufacturers to implement a full screen Apple CarPlay experience, meaning on this screen and on this screen. How will that work? Will it be only wired? Will it be wireless? And most importantly, what car manufacturers is this going to work with? Well, I think I found one car manufacturer that's kind of already done it, and it's not who you think. First and foremost, guys, a huge shout out to the Sandan Group. They actually helped make this video possible. So not only do they specialize in selling Mercedes-Benz cars, they also help supply the car later in the video. So if you want to go check them out, there's a link in the description down below. So they specialize in Mercedes cars, but they also specialize in some other brands as well on their new website called Avocado. So go give them a click. Uh, there's a link in the pop-up banner up above as well. Now the tech behind Apple CarPlay is amazing. I literally use it every single day and it serves as a choice for people to use on their preferred kind of multimedia system. You can either use the car's inbuilt multimedia system or you can use Apple CarPlay, either wired or wireless, depending on the car. Very brief overview, Apple CarPlay basically mirrors your phone but puts it up on the screen in a car-friendly way. So you have things like phone on the top left there, Apple Music, Apple Maps, text messages, that sort of thing. There's also third-party apps as well, the ones that Apple choose or allow support for. So you've got things like Google Maps and Waze and Spotify, all sorts of things. Now they have improved Apple CarPlay over the years and it has got better and better and better every year. One of the things of my favorite things is dashboards where you have kind of a split screen down the middle. So you have some content on the left and then content on the right hand side there. However, last year, Apple announced about this full screen stuff. So I watched with anticipation this year on their Worldwide Developers Conference where they announced the new kind of iOS software and macOS software and that sort of thing. And I watched the whole thing and they didn't mention CarPlay once. So I thought, well, this is last year now. So what car manufacturers have managed to do it? Because remember, they have to code all this stuff on their new cars that come out from that moment onwards. And um, I searched around and looked everywhere and I found one car manufacturer that I think's done it, sort of, and that's Volvo. So yes, Volvo are the first car manufacturer to offer this, as far as I'm aware. And basically it's Apple CarPlay graphics, obviously here on the kind of main screen, and this is actually a portrait screen, which is a bit different, but also Apple graphics in the instrument cluster behind here as well. Now basically it's compatible with certain Volvos that have the Android operating system in here. So yes, Volvo recently have actually put Android in on their multimedia systems. So that means you have Google Maps built into the car without even connecting a phone, which is pretty cool. However, once it's been updated to, I believe, software version 2.9, when you plug your phone in and use Apple Maps, you can get it to appear on here. Now this is Google Maps at the moment as the car's inbuilt kind of multimedia system. The second you start something on Apple Maps, so let's put in like, I don't know, pull down the road, for example, and hit go, that transforms into Apple CarPlay. How cool is that? Now, yes, I, at the moment, I believe it is only Apple Maps, so it's kind of like a basic form. It's not the full kind of Apple CarPlay full screen thing, which we kind of saw in Apple's presentation a year ago, but it's a stepping stone in the right direction. So I wish I had that in my car, because that's really cool. I haven't seen it do anything else though, and you kind of toggle it on and off with this button here, but I guess on the positive, there is a new Mercedes-Benz coming out soon uh, with the E-Class uh, that has a new multimedia system. So maybe that might have that. I don't know. I haven't had my hands on it yet. So the second I do, I will definitely try it out and we'll see uh, see if it will do CarPlay across like the whole screen, especially in that car because that's got like super screen like across the whole dashboard. But yes, guys, uh, let me know what you think down below. Would you use Apple CarPlay across the entire screen? Would you want it wireless? Would you want it wired? Let me know down below. Curious to see what your thoughts are. Guys, thanks for watching this short video today. Until next time, see you soon.